पहले कंसर्ट ऑफ जीपीआई जनरेट एन एपिसोड इवेल्यूशन स्टेप एंड दिस इंप्रूवमेंट स्टेप दिस इंप्रूवमेंट स्टेप इज अ बिट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द मॉन्टिकालो ई एस एलगोरिथम बिकॉज हियर वी आर फॉलोइंग द एप्सलेंस ऑफ पॉलिसी सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन दिस इंप्रूवमेंट इज फाइंड एन ऑप्टिमल एक्शन दैट इज ए स्टार इज आर मैक्स ए आर मैक्स ओ ए क्यूब ऑफ एस कॉमा ए दैट इज वी सिलेक्ट एन एक्शन दैट गिव द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ क्यूब so we do this for each state in each state we select an action that gives a maximum value of q and this action we denote is uh, we denote as a star so for each state we calculate an optimal action and for all possible actions in this state that is we are here considering only a particular state say s1 and for state s1 we are calculating an optimal action and now for each possible action in this state s1 we assign the probabilities that is pi of s1 comma a is 1 minus epsilon plus epsilon over mod a s if a is a star and it is epsilon over mod a s if a is not equal to a star as if a is an optimal action for state s1 then we assign it probability this and if a is not an optimal action then we assign it this probability that is probability of taking action uh, optimal action in state s1 is this and probability of taking non greedy action or non optimal action in state s1 is this and then we again do this for state s2 s3 s4 and each of the state in this episode okay so here is a complete algorithm first is the initialization step and i don't need to uh, repeat it once again the second is the this loop we generate an episode we perform an evaluation step that is assign return following the first occurrence of state action pair to r append it to a list of returns for that state action pair and now assign it to the action value function by taking the average of returns for each, for each state action pair now for each state in this episode we do this step find an optimal action for this is this particular state and now for all the actions that are possible in this particular state we perform this step assigning the probabilities and we do this for each possible state in this episode so this is a complete on policy monte carlo algorithm and here is a step by step procedure of this algorithm once the initialization has been done repeat forever ideally generate an episode using pi for each pair s and a r goes to return for in the first occurrence of s and a append r to returns uh, for state action pair s and a assign the average of the returns for state action pair s and a to action value function for state action pair s and a and for each state s in this episode calculate the calculate the greedy or the optimal action and now for each action in this state we assign the probability of occurrence of that action so this is the overall on policy monte carlo control algorithm so the previous algorithm is known as a is known as epsilon soft on policy monte carlo control algorithm and as i already mentioned in this we are uh, we remove both assumptions that is concepts of uh, value iteration and generous policy iteration were used to remove the infinite episodes for evaluation step and epsilon policy guarantees infinite visit to every state action pair therefore the assumption of exploring stars is no more needed so now just a single algorithm is left before uh, we go into off policy monte carlo methods and this method will be used in off policy monte carlo control algorithm so it is very important to consider it uh, right now before going to off policy monte carlo methods so this is basically evaluating one policy while following the other so in the previous algorithms we were eval uh, we were estimating the same policy that we were uh, using for control but here uh, we have a different policy that is 
We want to estimate or evaluate the policy pi, but all we have is the episodes from episodes generated from policy pi dash. That is, uh, you are having episodes from policy pi dash, and you need to estimate the policy pi. Uh, you need to uh, estimate the value function, state value function or action value function. It doesn't matter. What we need is how can we evaluate one policy while following the other. Uh, so the first question is, is it possible to do this? The answer is yes. All we require is that the actions taken under policy pi is also taken at least occasionally under policy pi dash. That is, if the probability of selecting any state action pair is non-zero under the policy pi, then it should be non-zero under the policy pi dash. Okay, this is the requirement. This is the only requirement for doing this. So here also we'll consider the first visit Monte Carlo methods as uh, this whole lecture is devoted only on the first visit Monte Carlo methods. And now consider the first visit to state S. Uh, suppose we are estimating the state value function. It doesn't matter whether we uh, calculate a state value function or action value function because in our policy we will consider only the action value function. But here for the simple case we want to show a proof uh, that uh, we can do this without even knowing the model of the environment. So for the, sim uh, for, so for the simplicity we are just considering the state value function. So consider the first visit to state S in an episode generated using policy pi dash. Okay. And the complete sequence of state and action following that visit. That is, consider any state S gen uh, occurring in a in an app occurring in an episode generated by policy pi dash and the complete sequence of state action fair following after that visit. Okay. So PKS denotes the probability of complete sequence under policy pi and pk dash s the probability of complete sequence under the policy pi dash so all we need is the ratio of pi over pi dash and let r dash ks denotes the corresponding of the return from that state that is uh, state s has occurred in our episode and the return following the first visit to state s be r dash ks okay so to so all we need is to uh, weight this return with the relative probability of occurrence of the sequence under the policy pi and under the policy pi dash. So the, to estimate v pi s, we need to weight each return by its relative probability of occurrence under pi and pi dash. So v s is basically this summation of all i from 1 to n p i s over p i dash s multiplied by r i dash s divided by this term. Okay, summation of all i from 1 to n s, summation of all i from 1 to n s, p i s over p i dash s. Uh, where n s uh, denotes the n s returns from this state, that is uh, episode number 1, episode number 2, episode number 3. Uh, basically, i represents the episode number. That is in episode number one and then episode number two, episode number three, and likewise after ha after having n s number of episodes, the estimate uh, v of s is just this summation of all i episodes from one to n s. That is the total number of episodes observed, and in each episode, the return following the visit to state s is multiplied by this relative probability of occurrence. And it is divided by summation from i equal to 1 to ns pis over pi dash s. Okay. So these probabilities are generally unknown. We do not know the probability of occurrence under policy pi. Okay. So these probabilities uh, used for weighting are generally considered unknown in Monte Carlo methods. So uh, all we need is to uh, prove that this ra that at least this ratio is independent of the environment's dynamics. That is, even if we do not know the complete dynamics of the environment, then also we can compute this ratio. All we care about is this ratio and not the uh, and not the independent probabilities. That is, we do not care about knowing this probability p i or p i dash s. All we need is this ratio. Okay. PI over PI dash. So 